So we're going to be having a look at the Cosmo SDK. We've got Cosmo here on the desk. We've got his cubes. And more importantly, we've got Mark Wesley, engineer here at Anki, um, to talk us through what you can achieve with the SDK. So take it away. Well, where should we start? Uh, let's start with the Hello World program. Uh, so, classic Hello World, sort of simplest program you can write in, in most languages. So we we have some kind of common things for any uh, Cosmo program where you have to you know, connect to a, a robot. And then all our program really does is we wait until we have a robot and then we tell him to say some text, in this case, Hello World. Hello World. Cool. Now, we had an example we saw early on, which I think was an alarm clock. Two, fifty-seven, a few seconds, just to make sure we start it in time. Wake up, raising humans. It's fourteen fifty-seven. Nice. He wouldn't want to be woken up like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that currently he's just out of his dock, but we could. Yeah. So if he was, if he was back on, you'd see him charging. Um, and then in that case, that example has some slow extra logic where uh, we move off the charger to let him speak but then we reverse him back on so he can go back to charging. So in this case I can run, um, run a little program and he's he's got his own Twitter account. <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, anyone who was to tweet at him and including himself uh, can make him do stuff. Um, so I can make him say hi. Hi. Nice, uh, so that, so you just tweeted at him? Just tweeted at him, and then uh, he's replied back to us to say that he actually did it and he's, he's done, done that action. Uh, I could tell him to take a photo. So he'll then tweet that picture? Yeah, it might take a second to come through. Yeah, so here we go. Nice. nice. Look at that. He's, <laughs> he's watching me watching him. Yep. <laughs> um, so. This is the, the sort of the Twitter functionality here isn't part of the Cosmo SDK, but you've imported exactly that Python module, is it? Yeah, Python module, um, which uh, gives us quite easy access to to see if a tweet arrived and be notified of that, to tweet ourselves in reply, uh, to upload an image or other media. So it feels like that opens the door to all sorts of different functionality. You've got a physical robot that's very personable, and obviously we're getting all the sort of the animations and the performance from Cosmo, but mm -hmm. um, could could be responding to lots of different inputs. And one one thought I had is, that, you know, if you were hard of hearing, he could be, he could let you know when there was someone at the door, if you just sort of pulled a module in that could detect that button press, um, because mm -hmm. like, he could do all sorts of things. Definitely. Um, yeah, and it's uh, actually quite common for programmers to want to have some kind of fun notification when like builds fail. So we've, we've had a number of people looking into if there's a way we could trigger <laughs> to do that. He'll tell you off. Will he yes. He'll say, <laughs> you broke the build. Yeah. <laughs> I know, potentially he could he could say who had broken it or <laughs> play a particularly upset animation maybe. Yeah, so that, that sort of takes us into territory like we, we saw with Connect and the SDK there, mm -hmm. where a, a piece of technology of hardware that was kind of intended for entertainment got used in medical settings. Um, I even saw a supermarket trolley <laughs> that was being controlled by it. So, yes. do you think that that's a realistic expectation to have that Cosmo and this SDK might have a similar impact? Um, I think, like, definitely for for anyone sort of curious in trying out learning to program and learning how to do those things, I think it'd be, be absolutely brilliant. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm really interested to see what people end up doing with it. It's bound to be some, some really interesting and unique uh, things that people come up with. Great, well, we should, wait, we should watch this space. Thanks for your time. Cheers.